Hello everybody, how's it going here? The weather on Toilet Finder 775 and welcome back to another video. Tonight I am here to talk about the threat for severe thunderstorms across the Midwest and Upper Midwest with a chance of large hail and downed winds and a few and maybe a few tornadoes. And just to show you something really quick before I s now if you like any of my content I would ask that you do consider subscribing. About uh, also about eighty nine point eight percent only about ten point three of you who watch percent of you who watch my videos are subscri are subscribed with 89.8% not subscribed. So please be, be sure to consider hitting the subscribe button and and also consider liking and or commenting. I also encourage you to ring the bell, you to ring the bell icon so you don't miss anything but that's totally up to you. And as you can see here, we have, now to start the video, we have uh, the Storm Prediction Center Day 2 Convective Outlook. As you can see here, we have three slight risk zones. Well, they're from for Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, and Northwest South Dakota. One for Northwest, another one for Northwest Iowa and Southwest Southern Minnesota. And another for from the southern Indiana into the Carolinas region. Hail risk is fifteen percent in the yellow shades and five percent in the brown. Within the region, within the yellow region, you can see up to golf ball sized hail, and in the brown, up to quarter sized. Now there's also a brown, a very large brown region of up to quarter size tail from the Ohio Valley down to the Carolinas and then back up to in, to central New England. We have a, another big region of quarter sized tail possible. But the wind threat is also is also pretty decent. Five percent in the brown. 15% where, where we have those slight risk zones, th all three of those slight risk zones. But the tornado threat's actually not in in the westernmost slight risk, which is this slight risk right there. The area I'm most concerned about is actually for central to western Iowa and to southern Minnesota. Where the Storm Prediction Center has a 5% tornado risk outlined. Severe thunder. The Storm Prediction Center is saying severe thunder is capable of launching on strong gusts are expected across portions of the northern high plains Sunday afternoon and a Sunday night. Additional severe storms is capable of strong gusts, hail, and possibly a one or two tornadoes are also are expected on Sunday over parts of Iowa and southern Minnesota. As well as the lower Ohio Valley into the Carolinas, isolated strong storms may be seen occasionally. Strong gusts and hail are expected across portions with the Mid Atlantic into New England through late Sunday afternoon. Iowa, Minnesota vicinity is again the area I'm most concerned about. Or this slight risk, or this yellow shade right here. Now let's get into the very exciting model runs. Just gotta zoom out in the Storm Prediction Center. You can s Hour 26. Just gotta move my screen recorder dialog box. Starting at hour 26 on the NAM Nest. We have already some isolated thunderstorms popping up across mainly western Iowa. 27, those really start to become more 
start to become more widespread. And then move north, and then move northeast, and then move northeast or due east. By hour twenty-eight, and then this is this little airline area of storms right here is kind of concerning. Hour twenty-nine becomes even more so. And then by hour thirty-two, it becomes. This really widespread area of yellow, of oranges and reds. In hour 31, it's already starting to become a potential Boeing echo. Boeing segments of storms. With isolated severe storms still possible further to the east. 32. The MCS comes even, becomes even bigger. Three, it starts to move further east, and by five, it becomes even bigger. So for this uh, summer, this could be a mainly overnight thing. Thirty-seven, and then that M then that M meso convective system kind of really starts to fall apart by hour thirty-seven or seven UTC in June twenty-nine. And then by Tenzi, we can still see some isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up across areas from Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, all the way into Min all the way into a little widespread area, little scattered area in Minnesota. And it's also some pop ups in Wisconsin and, and Illinois, and from the Kentucky Fried Chicken State. That's just a little analogy. The Kentucky, Kentucky, my analogy, my analogy is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let's see how the temperatures are. You can already see that temperatures are already well into the 70s and perhaps well into the widespread 80s. With perhaps even a few in, with perhaps, with even a few with temperatures perhaps bottoming out in the 70s. Across Iowa and Minnesota, and s around 80 in eastern South Dakota. 30. Still seeing some 80 widespread 80s. Though it reduced into 70s by hour 33. So this is, these centered warm temperatures are kind of concerning. Uh, but let's take a look at the dew points. Hour 27. You can see our uh, dew points already in the lower to even middle 70s. Dew points, folks. Dew points, not temperatures. 77. Hour 30. Dew points in the 70s are all across. Iowa and southern Minnesota are in the 70s. Are all are around or greater than seventy generally? Oh, seventy eight. That's not good. Given those temperatures in the eighties, that's not a concerning sign. And let's take a look at the geopotential height nine twenty five millibars. You can see a wind start to take from a s start from a southeast to northwest direction to a southwest to northeast direction. So potential turning with height of winds, which is why the storm may be why the storm prediction center has tornado potential out for northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. 850 now. 18 is not looking very high. Still showing the general consensus. South to north directional winds. Uh, southeast to northwest. 
then south to north, then southwest and perhaps southwest to northeast. I don't know. That's how you read those wind barbs. I don't know how to read those wind barbs. I'm very sorry. I'm sure the long end go is the direction the winds are coming are going to be in. When direction the winds are coming from. Um, the, okay. You can see s still turning with heights around the 850. With the 850. The potential height is 700 millibars. You can see some westerly to southwesterly to northeasterly winds. Possible across uh, across much much of our marginal and slight even slight risk zones, maybe even slight risk zones. Let's see. Let's take a look at that convective outlook again. Oh, thirty. So you can see those winds, the barbs don't take much of a turn. Those wind profiles are definitely a little something to be concerning. And when I said tornado earlier, it actually meant wind. I apologize. Now let's just take a look at the surface face cape, surface face convective inhibition. And in the slight risk, we actually have no convective inhibition. Literally not. Literally zero convective inhibition. With three thousand, with three thousand three hundred forty-five cape, out in what is, out in what is this long county called? Um, Cossuth, Iowa, down Cossuth County, southern Cossuth County, three thousand, three thousand forty-six, no convective inhibition. Minus very little, if any, convective inhibition, with Cape tapering off as you head further north. And Cape is actually increasing even further. Convective, ideally, you want no, con little, v little, if any, convective inhibition for even marginally severe weather. And you can see we have high Cape across western Iowa. Across portions of our slight risk area. Left click for forecast sounding. I'm going to see if that will even load. Oh, I've never used this website before. What's going on here? Hour 30. Zero Z. Monday, June 29th. Cape values are pretty, are like through the roof almost. As I like to put it, fifty-seven hundred over five in excess of four or five thousand, even. And convective inhibition is where those those grayed out areas are right, around the severe potential, around the Cape Zone. And let's take a look at. This is actually a duplicate tab. I forgot to close that. S zero to three kilometer storm relative helicity is also elevated. We even from like n near the Des Moines area, we got three hundred four. We got three two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty three, all the way up in north central Iowa to a four seventy six. The highest in Minnesota is is gonna be a four hundred four hundred ten. So the storm relative helicity is looking kinda concerning, everyone. Those could shape up some tornadoes if that were to pan out. 27, hour 27, energy helicity index is at 10.5 to the northwest of Des Moines. 
at hour 27, hour 30. 30. It shifted to the east, so I don't want us to be surprised to see that risk expanded further to the east and or south, although that's looking very unlikely at this time, as is an enhanced risk. We could, there, there might be a very, very small probability of an enhanced risk, hence one's not out of the question, but very unlikely. Look at this, a 12.2 a 12 in Jasper County. And also a 10.8 out in south to southwest. 9.3 in southern Minnesota is the highest. 700-500 millibar lap. 700-500 millibar lap. So let's take a look at that. You can see that seven that mid-level lapse rates are looking kind of steep across the west across the west and those across western Iowa and South Dakota Southeast South Dakota on westward to the Missouri River 8.0 on the order of 8 to the near Kansas to near what is this Kansas City 8 at least from seven points from seven to eight, eight to eight, eight point five in spots to eight in spots. Excuse me. Mid-level lapse rates are also looking fairly steep, on the order of seven and a half. Excuse me, where was that? Seven and a half. Seven and a half to almost even nine degrees Celsius per kilometer. Let's take a look at that fixed layer significant tornado parameter. You can see our 20, starting at hour 24. You can see that it's looking very concerning. A 4.9 four, a 4 in the west. 21 not looking very concerning. 4.3 for still pretty concerning. But now our 36 it's at an 8.2 8.2 so I don't be surprised to see several tornado warnings flying in central and northwest Iowa and southern Minnesota and or in the same general area as our slight risk. Let's take a look at that sounding real quick. No, that's 5.6. I wanted the 8.2 one. I wanted the 8.2. There's even an 8.3 that just popped up. And as and the sounding is trying to load, supercell, supercell composite parameters at a 26.1. No quality matches for supercells, 59% tour. According to the sounding analog, 67% very large hail. According to the, and we already got tornado pro, tornado probabilities out saying the potential hazard type saying tornado for that latitude and longitude in northern Iowa.